Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews, and uh, today I just wanted to do a quick little review on uh, the Halo uh, Mega Blocks little sets. I already opened it up, of course, but that's what it looks like. Just a little uh, mini figure pack, just like the Lego ones have been doing in Toys R Us. I just saw these guys last night and thought it'd be pretty cool to pick one of these up. Of course, this is a blind pack. You don't know what you're getting until you open it up. Um, people were talking on the Legos that there was a special number on them, like the, the UPC was different. And uh, that may be true for the Lego minifigures, but I, I couldn't find any particular number on here that was different from another package. So uh, I'm not sure if they used the same system or not. But uh, So I just grabbed a random one, which if you can see is the Blue Hayabusa uh, Spartan. Let's just take a quick look at the sheet it comes with, a little fold-up pamphlet. The figures you could have gotten, which is the blue Spartan. This is kind of like a little check sheet, so you can uh, check them off. The active camo Spartan, which I thought would have been pretty cool. There's a green Covenant Elite with a, a sword. <clears throat> and then the green UNSC Spartan 2. And a green UNSC Pilot. And a yellow UNSC Flame Marine. And a red UNSC Marine with a rocket launcher, which I would have really liked to get. And a purple Covenant Elite. Very cool. So I really want the, the red one with the rocket launcher and the active camo Spartan. I think those two would be pretty cool. I might pick up a couple more. And then on the back it's just like some advertisements or stuff and whatever. But uh, each pack you get comes with a figure a weapon and just a block to stand them on so you get a brick just a standard black mega blocks brick and of course the uh, katana he comes with and it came with this little thing which I just decided to put in his back I'm not sure if that's what it was meant to be but I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it is just so you can uh, put the katana in it since the katana doesn't have like a peg so it can sit in his back like the rest of the weapons so I think that's pretty cool but uh, very cool. I already have the orange Hayabusa, which I really like, and this blue one will go nice with it. I really like it as well. It's got a nice dark wash over it too. You can see it in the white pretty well. But a uh, very cool armor. Articulation, he has a nice pin ball jointed head, a ball jointed shoulder, which goes in and out a little bit and back and forward. A single jointed elbow, and then of course his wrist, which turns and can pop out just like Legos and uh, he does have a swivel in the waist and then a uh, ball jointed thigh which you can move in and out just a little bit and back and forward and then the single jointed knee and of course the pegs on the feet so he can stand up and of course the peg hole in the back to hold the weapon so very cool um, I really like these sets uh, they were $2.50, which I think the the Lego minifigure packs are only like $2, so it's a little more, but uh, you know, I'm just a big fan of Halo, so I'll do it, and uh, I really like the Mega Block minifigures better anyway, um, you know, there's something to be said about the classic Lego minifigures, you know, they're, they're just classic, they remind me of being a kid playing with Legos, so I definitely love those, but, you know, these Mega Blocks really stepped it up, and you know, took it to a new level just with the detail and the articulation and everything. Now they're not interchangeable like the Lego ones are, you know, you can take the legs off and put different heads and stuff on them. But, you know, in their own right, these things are, you know, just way awesome, so definitely like these guys. So anyways, that was the Lego minifigure Blue Hayabusa. Thanks for checking it out.